everyone, it's Miss Carol, and I'm going to be going over your lesson with you this week. This week's le lesson is week number 13, and our lesson is Jesus is the sign from God. Our scripture passage comes from Isaiah 7, 1 through 17. Let's begin. You might have heard someone say this phrase before. I'm waiting for God to give me a sign. Did you ever wonder what that means? What, what do we mean when we say we are waiting for God to give us a sign? <clears throat> Today, the prophet or messenger from God, Isaiah, helps us understand a little better what a sign from God really is. Here, Isaiah is recalling, recalling a time when he was speaking with a man named Ahaz who was one of the kings of Israel. Not a very good king, but still a king nonetheless. Let's listen in on what God is saying to Ahaz in this scripture. <clears throat> and we are going to be speaking and reading Isaiah 7, 10 through 14. Then the Lord spoke to Ahaz again. The Lord said, ask for a sign to prove to yourself that these things are true. It may be a sign from as deep as the place where the dead are, or as high as the heavens. But Ahaz said, I will not ask for a sign. I will not test the Lord. Well, then Isaiah said, Ahaz, descendant of David, listen very carefully. Isn't it bad enough that you wear out the patience of people? Do you have to wear out the patience of my God also? But the Lord himself will give you a sign. Mary will be pregnant. She will have a son, and she will name him Emmanuel. Mary, that's Jesus' mom. So the sign for King Ahaz and for all the people of Israel was going to be Mary's son. And she was going to call him Emmanuel. But, there, but here's something I was wondering as I read this. Why did Ahaz need a sign? What is the sign supposed to tell him? <clears throat> king Ahaz had lots of bad luck when it came to ruling as the king of Israel. What made his luck so bad? Everybody was trying to evade, invade his country and take over his people. In fact, God had just been talking to Azab in the first part of Isaiah chapter 7 about two neighboring countries who were coming to attack Israel. King Azab knew there was no way his army could beat two armies who had just joined, joined together against him. But God wanted Ahaz to know this. <clears throat> Even impossible things are possible when God is helping you. And God was helping him. So how does Mary's son Jesus help King Ahaz fight his battle? Well, Jesus doesn't actually do anything to help Ahaz because Jesus hasn't even been born yet. But what does help Ahaz is this. God used the promise of Jesus who would come to rescue all of God's people as an example. Just like God would someday send Jesus to save his people, God had brought Ahaz up to be the king of Israel. And God was promising that he would rescue Ahaz and all the people from the invading armies. From all the people from the invading armies. Notice that Isaiah said the sign's name would be Emmanuel. That's just one of the names that Jesus goes by in the Bible. It means God is with us. Jesus was a sign to all of God's people and even to King Ahaz that God is always with us. He never leaves us and he never gives up on us. What a wonderful lesson, everyone. And I always say, God is with you. He is with you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. Well, I hope you enjoy your lesson this week and reading 
in the book of Isaiah. And until the next time we get together for a lesson, and it will be me for lesson 14, I always say blessings to you all. Have a wonderful week, everyone.